The Steelers are one of the most consistent teams in the NFL. They always make it to the playoffs, but don't perform well enough in the regular season and lose more games than expected. Still, this team won the division at 11 and 5 and made it all the way to the AFC Championship game, but got destroyed by the Patriots. This team has the roster to win it all, but must perform better in the regular season to secure a bye and maybe home field advantage to compete with the Patriots. The Steelers stayed out of free agency and avoided bidding wars like they usually do. The only notable signing was Tyson Alualu, and he provides quality depth behind Cameron Hayward and Stephen Tuitt. Another notable signing was 39-year-old James Harrison. He's getting up there in age, but has shown he can still play even at this stage in his career. In the draft, the Steelers needed pass rush help and got TJ Watt from Wisconsin. Watt doesn't have very much college experience, but has played well the one season he started. It takes a while to fit into the Steelers defense, but he has the work ethic and ability to be on the field often. In the second round, the Steelers got a personal favorite of mine in Juju Smith-Schuster. He's got a big body and will be another weapon for Big Ben to throw to. This offense is one of the best in the league and it starts with Antonio Brown. He is almost impossible to cover and always catches over 100 balls, over 1,000 yards, and over 10 touchdowns. He's a model of consistency and Ben always knows he can trust Brown on throws. They have maybe the best all-around back in Le'Veon Bell. He has to play on the franchise tag, but is a very good runner and arguably the number two receiver on the team. This duel, along with a good offensive line, makes the Steelers very dangerous. On defense, the Steelers desperately need to upgrade the pass rush and secondary. The defense can be had, especially against elite offenses. This defense is pretty average with a solid defensive line, but the rest of the defense needs talent. Ryan Shazier is a freakishly athletic linebacker, but they need to upgrade that pass defense. The defense is good enough for the regular season, but not good enough when it comes to challenging elite offenses. Ben Roethlisberger has been a starting quarterback for a long time and even considered retirement this offseason. Luckily, he didn't and he will be the driving force of this team again. He has gotten banged up throughout his career and the Steelers would be wise to look for a successor. Still, he's a proven quarterback who's won Super Bowls and there's no doubt that he has what it takes to win it again this year. In the best case, this team does well in the regular season and finishes at 12-4, and allowing them to get the second seed and that bye. The defense performs better than expected and does enough to help this team win the Super Bowl. Big Ben and the offense outscore opponents and the team gets hot at the right time, including getting past the Patriots in a playoff game. In the worst case, the Steelers defense holds them back and the team finishes at 10-6. and They make the playoffs again, but have to play on wildcard weekend. They're able to beat whoever's in front of them, but still lose to the playoffs against the number one or number two seed. In the likely case, the Steelers are just like last year and finish at 11-5. They'll make the playoffs, but fall to the Patriots. This team needs to have home field advantage to take on Bill Belichick, but fail to secure it in the regular season. This team is good, but not good enough to get to the Super Bowl.